Hello and welcome to BMAD and Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial I will show you kitchen cabinet family where you can uh, with just one clip show workshop drawings for uh, for manufacturer. Actually one of our client asked me how to make uh, uh, this client just to, to tell you this client using Revit just for creating uh, kitchens for designing kitchens and for creating shop drawings that he uh, sent to manufacturer and he asked me how to make this process faster uh, this process of creating uh, workshop drawings and I came with idea to create a kitchen cabinet family where you can with just one click show these workshop drawings you see on, uh, on the right side of this photo. Now I will show you the example in, uh, our, in one of our projects. Okay. This is the villa project and this is the, the kitchen of that villa. I will hide these walls here so we can see the kitchen clearly. All right. And I will choose one of these elements here. All right. Let's say it will be this kitchen cabinet element here this is the name this is a kitchen cabinet with single door and this door is uh, with right opening direction and we will go to legends all right I will rename this legends it will be kitchen cabinet kitchen cabinet test all right and now uh, now we will go to annotation just to see the name of this all right this is the name now we will go to legends and from annotations we will choose legend component tool and from here we will find our uh, ca kitchen cabinet family we choose for this example. Uh, it's here, all right. And that's it, you see, with just one click we have all information that manufacturer wanted from our client. Uh, he sent these drawings to him and he create the parts of this uh, kitchen element here we have two uh, side panels one door panel one bottom panel and one uh, one shelf also here all informations are uh, connected to the family so when we change any parameter from family this for example uh, here we have left and right opening directions when we change in family opening directions this appear in the family also you can see here these symbols here from the type name and the opening directions are changed all right this is all in my language my uh, mother tongue uh, Bosnian <laughs> but I will explain you in, in English this drawing I, I think is clear to everyone. As you can see here we have two uh, different two different examples I showed here. All right, I will show you now how parameters work. I will change the parameters in this family and you will see how changes we follow in the legends also. Everything is automatically changeable. All right, we have material parameters, and from here, when we change, when we change the white, you can see 
the white in the drawings, the dimensions in the drawings, and from schedule, uh, the informations are all changed. All right, now we will change the depth and height. You can see everything is automatically changed. Even in the name, in the type name, uh, everything is changed. Dimensions, you can see up dimensions from type name is changed also. And from here, when we change the way of opening directions, automatically is everything changed in the type name and in the drawings. You can see here. All right. Now we can change the number if we have in project one more than one of these types, we can change it and everything will be changed in the legends also in our workshop drawings. All right. Now I will leave it as one for now. Now here we have edge bending. The manufacturer wanted for our client to show which for every panel from which side will be added the uh, edge bending. So we uh, usually they use a method to show the uh, longer side. But when we change the the white depth and height of our uh, family sometimes the longer side isn't isn't the side that is visible we want to add edge banding on the side that is visible on front side so i had add, i added variable parameter for this when we change the the white height and depth of the family uh, the edge banding will be changed. Sometimes it will be uh, the longer. For example, now we have the same uh, height and uh, height and depth, 60 centimeters. And in that case, I added parameter so that will be one side. The manufacturer can choose which side. It isn't matter. All right. And now when we change the, you, you can see when I change these values here in family, the edge bending parameters are changed automatically. Sometimes the visible side of our uh, elements can be a longer edge, sometimes it's shorter edge, sometimes for, uh, for doors we have fourth edge all edges must be uh, on all, all edges must be added the edge bending and dear friends that's it this is all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your uh, friends and colleagues see you in the next tutorial